Welcome back, everyone. Live coverage here at VMware Explore 23. I'm John Furrier, host of the Cube with Dave Vellante. Our 13th year, Dave, covering VMworld. We never missed a year. Even during the pandemic, we did the remote interviews. So uh, it's been, been a great run, and as Broadcom's on the horizon, next gen VMware should be here. And we have one of the big booths here, Control Up. We got the management team and the new news, the new newly minted CEOs here, Jet Airs. Announced today, CEO, good to see you. Thanks for coming on. Thank you for having yeah. me, John. And we got the co founder and executive chairman, head of product strategy. <laughs> That's what's going on. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Hey, guys. So, first of all, all congratulations. Right. We're going to get into the product. Great growth. We'll get into that. New CEO, you got on board, being the co founder. Great entrepreneurial venture. You know, it's always hard. It's always messy. Something. It's a, the origination story always gets better as you're more successful. But it's hard to do startups. You've been successful. Congratulations. He's a roller coaster, for sure. Congratulations. Okay, so why the new CEO? What's the, what's the change? What's the motivation? So, you know, what we feel is that in order for the company to get to the next stage, uh, we need to develop many things, you know, that we don't currently have, like, the way we want to have it, like much more partnerships, alliances, uh, more enterprise motion, and um, I think Jed is bringing a lot of this experience and uh, we're, we're super happy you know, to have him. I um, think he has proven records and um, yeah, that's what we need in order to get to the next stage. So Dave and I will get into the product. We'd love to talk about flywheels and looking at how things grow organically. There's always a pattern and we'll get into that. But Jed, talk about why this was attractive to you, obviously. You know, when you get lightning in a bottle, it kind of has that trend. You know, you see something out there, it's got growth. It's kind of no, some go to market, but like going to the next level means team, scale, marketing, bigger Absolutely. operations. What, what's, what's your vision? What's motivating you? Well, first of all, thank you for having me on the uh, show. It's a, a revered seat to sit here and uh, be an alumni of, of the Cube. So thanks for having me, You're Dave welcome. and John. You're welcome. But yeah, uh, obviously Control Up was a company that was on my radar. Uh, I came from iGel and uh, another uh, European uh, you know, hardware thin client company that we turned into a software company and we were a big partner of Control Up. And I saw the sort of technical product, le the growth that these guys were having in a very short amount of time. And you know, I realized, and I got to meet us off and really you realize the sort of chemistry you have with a founder and the opp opportunity that, uh, you know, to take uh, the enterprise uh, business and sort of supersize some of the deals that they've been closing the alliances, uh, Microsoft, VMware, Citrix, building on those, um, and then really the channel, and that's really my background, is bringing uh, channel partners and scaling an organization through not hiring 50 more sales reps, but really using the channel, and I have a long history in the end user compute space with the sort of best channel partners, so uh, pretty quick capacity to scale the product out of this product-led motion. Yeah, you've got a lot of experience in the channel, there was a CRN article that just published that sort of went pretty deep on that, but I'd be interested in your focus of the channel. How do you attract channel? How do you get them excited? You know, we know they care about margin, but obviously they care about relationships as well. So what's your, what's your initial thinking about the channel? Yeah, so we look for people to have deep domain expertise, first of all, in this space, right? So they know how to spell VMware and Citrix and Microsoft. And then we, uh, you know, we really look for the investment that they're willing to make you know, together. And, and build a plan, and you know, so both sides are going to benefit, and it's really about building recurring revenue for these solution providers, so obviously a lot of them are looking at managed services, they're looking at professional services, and they're looking at you know, the program, so both you know, the technology as a differentiator for their practice, and the economics of you know, being that recurring revenue, so that, that's what we look for, and you know, there's a short list of them that really are the best of the best in Europe and in the US, and, I have most of them on speed dial. <laughs> Let's talk about the domain. Um, how do you guys think about your market? How, how, you, how, how do you talk about it, phrase it, so define the, it? The market is digital employee experience, and many people you know, confuse that with APM, but this is actually the way for the enterprises to make sure that their employees are getting good experience uh, from the dozens or hundreds of applications that they're using. And um, I think, you know, what we see in the recent years is like a constant transition from like measuring uptime to measuring the real employee experience. How does, how does the employee feel when he uses uh, the line of business applications, et cetera? Being able to quantify it, um, track it, and optimize it. 
and and you know that's what we've been doing you know for many years um, and um, our our concept is to support any type of desktop any type of an application at any location um, so you know the market is just uh, becoming harder and harder as people you know work in a hybrid model from home from office from the train uh, it's becoming much more difficult to support those those employees and making sure that you know they get the experience they need and uh, that's that's where we come uh, come to aid those uh, what was the origination idea? Was it because the change was so rapid with the in, and infrastructure and the tools? Was there more tools, less platforms? Was there too many platforms? What was the, what was the problem? What was the main problem? Well, I think the, the, the main problem was lack of visibility, okay? It's very difficult to get good visibility with all those technologies that are there, okay? I mean, if you look at a, any, any large organization, they have some investment in virtual desktop, either VMware or Citrix, uh, cloud desktops, okay, Microsoft, maybe something else. Um, they have those physical desktops and just very difficult to understand what's going on. Okay, like how, how, like how, what kind of performance I'm providing to my, to my employees. Yeah. So um, I think, you know, this is how we started to provide visibility. And then uh, very soon after that, we started also providing like automation and optimization tools to not only be able to see the problem, but actually to fix the problem and to make the experience better. What was the customer experience, competition like at that time? Was it fragmented? What was the, where did you guys hit the bullseye right? What, what got right there vis-a-vis -vis the competition? So, you know, obviously we always had some competition. Um, we started from, uh, from the virtual desktop infrastructure Okay, and we became like the, you know, the best product in that, in that field. Um, and then uh, later on, we just expanded, you know, to other, other areas as well. When I, when I think about like a work day, you know, the sassification of, of business, if a work day sells to the HR function, but IT is always involved, right? They've got to throw holy water on it. So who do you sell to? What's the role of IT? How do you integrate with all these SaaS apps that are out there? So we are selling to the IT, okay? Uh, okay. Uh, just to the IT. Um, and we have several, you know, we have a lot of integrations with third parties uh, systems, uh, like uh, Microsoft Azure, VMware, vSphere, Horizon, Citrix, obviously. Um, we just integrate, you know, with those infrastructure applications. Um, and we also have all kinds of generic ways to measure the experience of specific applications. Okay, SaaS applications, local applications, and unified communication applications, which becoming very big. Yeah. And and so, what exactly are you measuring? You said before it's, you know, not APM. You know, it's not just uptime. It's it's it, what is it exactly that you're trying to optimize for? So what we're what we're measuring is what kind of performance you're getting from the device you're using as you're using the line of business application. So I'll give you an example. Okay, for example, um, you're using Zoom. And all of a sudden, something doesn't work very well. You get lags, you know, you're getting broken. We can, we can look at all the data metrics that we collect and say, hey, that's because you got away from the Wi-Fi. Maybe you should probably get closer to the Wi-Fi and the problem is gone. Okay, or we can track the latency and say, hey, maybe there's a problem with this ISP in this specific region. Okay, so that's just, you know, one out of yeah. hundreds of... Other and it's doing it in real time, and I think that's one of the big differentiators that I saw when I looked at the company, is that it's like a real-time solution, right? Uh, where a lot of the other solutions are looking at it, uh, you know. What happened yesterday? Exactly. Yeah, then, <laughs> no, so a lot of times they're actually, <laughs> yesterday's news. IT is able to fix it before yeah. the guy even calls to open the ticket. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the, the window is three seconds after one year. So it's a pretty wide window. Is that, yeah. Take us yeah. through this as you guys became successful. What was the moment you start to see more downloads. When, when did you guys realize this is, wow, this is happening? And then what was the reaction on, the, on your customer side? What was the experience like? Take us through kind of the play-by-play -play of that moment where it's like, okay, it's crossing over. This product's hunting, this is it's happening. So from the company perspective, you know, we were bootstrapped for, uh, for uh, two years before we took some VC money. Right, and you know, initially we developed controller for our own internal purposes, just to fix problems quicker. And then our customers would start, you know, looking at our, you know, behind the shoulders, looking at what we're doing, and they, wow, can we buy it? You know, so we started, you know, playing with the idea, and we put it in the internet. 
and nobody came, nobody downloaded, right? And we didn't have a lot of marketing money, right? So, um, um, you know, we started as a free tool, okay? Just provided it for the community, and then, um, and then this this uh, this uh, great guy from Citrix posted a blog about it, and all of a sudden we got like hundreds of downloads, you know, from these crazy enterprises, and like the first couple of months we already had like 4,000 downloads, and and we saw the usage, right? And uh, we said, okay, we have something real in here. Uh, we tried to do as much as we could with our own money. It was very difficult, and then. Uh, and then we decided to take some VC money, and that's obviously, you know, yeah. a decent amount of VC money too, right? You raised what, 140 million? Is that about right? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah is that a current right. number? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And so, what are you doing with the money? Where are you, where are you applying it? Oh, we're just sitting on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice if you don't need it. <laughs> Good. So, the reason we raised the last round is mainly for inorganic, uh, inorganic uh, growth expansion. We have the DNA of being very mindful to expenses. Yeah. Okay. So, not to say we're we're, we're you know we're almost cash flow positive. Yeah, yeah. You got a uh, war chest. Huh? You got a nice war chest. Yeah. Make yeah. some acquisitions. It's a good market for accu hires right now. You're in a you're in a buyer's market. I I, I agree. I agree. And stay tuned. We have uh, yeah. Okay. We, we, we'll have. I mean, some it's really about coming. building a platform, <laughs> right? And being able to tuck some of these things in. And this is what our partnership is about, yeah. where he can really focus on that platform. And I can focus on making sure the world knows about it. Jay, let's get into the, let's get into the economic side of obviously the, the channel selection, the go-to-market, you know, indirect right. versus direct sales. You mentioned that earlier. It's expensive to go direct sales. You don't really need it here, do you? You've got a platform and you've got a product that's easy to use. That's kind of like a perfect channel product. And exactly. the channel partners also have all the vendors that you want to manage. So they're kind of in the mix. Is that was the reason? Yeah, there's uh, you know, 100 million seats of VDI sitting out there. We have about 4 million that are you know, using our product today. So there's a lot of headroom <laughs> to, uh, the, the VDI space was very channel led in terms of uh, who installed all that. And so you know, really bringing the channel along uh, yeah. to help us grow that VDI side, but then also going onto the physical side, right? We, uh, the fastest growing thing in the portfolio today is this edge acquisition that uh, Asaf made back in 2020. And so this, uh, you know, this is actually the other part of the channel, right? Is more of the people that are interested in looking at the physical devices as well. So your TAM is those 100 million VDI seats plus the edge? Right, which is another 700 million. I was going to say, it's like, pretty big. I was going to say triple, but it's 7X. Yeah, so <laughs> the expectations for some pretty significant ARR growth in the next 24 months is there, right? Like as we add in uh, the channel, as we add in uh, more of an enterprise sale, selling motion. We hired the, uh, the enterprise sales leader from Citrix. He started the same day as I did yesterday, Tom Holland. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he was managing a billion dollar book of business for Citrix. Uh, so he kind of knows where a lot of those bigger Citrix customers are that would love yeah. Controlla. When well, the show floor opened yesterday, John and I were walking around. First of all, we were, we were impressed and surprised at like, how packed it was. And it was filled with customers. It wasn't just a bunch of, you know, booth people. But all the, we went by your booth. It was some cool demos, but it, it was you had a good-sized booth, and it was packed. Yeah, we did hundreds of demos yesterday. And, uh, yeah, we're quite thrilled with the uh, number of people at this show. Uh, I don't know if you know the number. I think it's in excess of 10,000 people I would here. say it's around 10, well, maybe. 10, 12, yeah. I think. Yeah, 10, 12. What did you guys do at the booth? What was any news that you guys had there? What was the news? You mentioned the edge. That was part of the news here, right? What was, Quickly explain the news here at VMware. So usually what we're doing in the booth is just showing live demos as much as possible. And uh, <clears throat> I mean, that's working for us the best. Uh, you know, we get people excited and then we follow up, follow up on these leads and we feed on them, you know, for the next uh, year or so. Yeah. Yeah. So we're really known for that VDI solution and being the best in class in VDI. So we're trying to expose more people to this uh, physical Edge DX product. So we just announced this morning that a 50 free trial. So in the spirit of <laughs> the product-led uh, download you know, history and the heritage of the company. And yeah, we've already had dozens of people download it. And so we expect, you know, hopefully a moment like the, uh, the original blog will happen, especially uh, with everybody listening yeah. on theCUBE. Uh, we'll go out and try it out. But what, yeah, are the, what are the conversations like with the customer? What kind of questions are they asking? Are they, are they asking like, what do you do? Who are you? Or how can I do solve this problem? What is, what is that Yeah, usually that's, that's the journey. Do you support this kind of desktop, this kind of like thin client, yeah, yeah. fat clients, Linux, Max, yeah. Uh, those kind of, what kind of automations of, and, and can, what kind of problems we can solve? 
a lot of it's around login times too, like you know, just sort of a really you know, simple productivity inhibitor. Basic stuff, that right? That we're like yeah. helping people uh, you know, radically reduce the time. We actually have a video crew here also that's capturing some of the you know, great stories of people that are coming up and are like, you've, you've really helped us, right? Yeah. Um, the, the, the customer satisfaction when you, when you make someone's life easier is really amazing what happens. The fan base you get, you don't even know it's out there. Yeah, so really, we, really great word of mouth. We have an online community that we built uh, on Slack. It's got thousands of people on it that are uh, kind right. of supporting each other. And yeah, that has helped with the virality of the product. Well, you guys got a great product opportunity. Congratulations on the success. I like the bootstrapping and then gave into the VC for the growth. You need the cash to grow. That's what we, you see the for playbook. Sure. That's yeah. the flywheel. Yeah. So congratulations. And you're going to scale it out, uh, go, go to the next, next level and great stuff. For the last minute we have left, why don't you guys both put in a plug for the company, what you're working on, what your goals are, uh, some things you want to do with the product. Give a quick plug. What are you looking for? Are you hiring? A lot yeah, of so we're going to obviously be in building out a, a big U.S. team. We're actually going to move the headquarters of the company to the U.S. Contrary to everyone's belief, I'm going to put it in San Francisco, so All right. that'll be exciting. Plenty of space. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's really about building out a uh, you know, world-class enterprise sales team, building out a great channel that really knows the end-user compute space and wants to lead with a very uh, you know, differentiated solution, and uh, building tighter relationships with Citrix, Microsoft, and of course VMware. VMware resells our product, so we're going to look this. They sold about 160 customers so far this year, nice. our product. So, you know, we're going to build on that partnership. And, yeah, look for us to... Well, well Ragu's right there. He's coming on next. So when you're walking out the cube, just shake his hand and exactly. say, you know... It's been a good sell partnership. More. Exactly. Yeah, sell what's, more, right. what's the plug? Put the plug in for, for the company. Obviously, the co-founder, you must be proud and excited at the same time. Yeah. You get the product strategy, which means you get to look at the future and make sure the team's hitting the right direction. What's uh, what's your what's your opinion? Yeah, what's so, your so you know we're planning uh, we're planning on defining you know defining better defining the deck space. Um, one of the one of the most exciting things we're gonna we're gonna announce pretty soon is a really cool security addition to that space. Yeah. Um, and what we want to bring what we want to bring uh, to our customers is the ability for the IT teams to be proactive about all kinds of security vulnerabilities in the desktop yeah. assets that they manage. So that's one of the biggest things we're going to bring to the, you know, to the market pretty soon. Awesome. Congratulations. Jed Gresh is on the new assignment. Thank you so Stop. much. Thanks for coming on the okay. Cube. And thanks, thanks for sharing guys. the story. Great okay. story. Good luck. Well, thanks okay. for all See you guys you do. 35,000 interviews over the last uh, <laughs> 13 <laughs> years. Yeah. Yeah. We're Good still cranking. Yeah. We don't give up. <laughs> we'll be out tonight doing some biz dev. Best is yet to more, come, as we yeah. like to we say. We get all the stories. Yeah. Last night, I, got, I heard so much, yeah. so much information last night. People don't realize that I'm sitting there listening. Uh, oh. A lot of good data in, in the community. We're very community-led, too. Well, yeah, thank so, you for yeah. uh, all you guys okay. do for the community. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll all be right. right back with more live coverage. we got the circuit of execs coming in from VMware. Ragu's up next. Stay with us. Don't leave. Stay with us for the CEO coming on. Talk about his vision. We'll hear about AI, multi-cloud, super cloud, and Broadcom. We'll see what he has to say. We'll be right back. <laughs>